Hello, Chinese One guys. Uh, we're off to a new um, remote lesson this week. We're going to take a look at part two of Table for Two, our friend Wang Ming and the waitress. And if you remember from last time, Wang Ming has just gotten into the restaurant and is about to um, about to get seated and get some food. So uh, let's just take a look at scene two all the way through and see how much you can pick up from just what you know already. Okay, so obviously what? He's um, sitting down, he needs a menu, right? So the key word is, um, the key word in this unit, this lesson is 菜单, right? So let me just point it out to you right here. 菜单, 菜 means food. Dan means list. So food list is a menu, right? Tai Dan. Tai Dan. Tai Dan. So it's it's used twice in here, run right here, and and what Wang Ming asks for is a Tai Dan. Tai. Dish or meals. Dan list. Tai Dan. Okay? So let's just take, go one by one, take a look at um, the first part today. Um, this is uh, something basically you already know. So we'll just go over it real quickly here. So the first thing Wang Ming wants to do is get a menu. So here's how he does it. Fu Yuan. He starts with Fu Wu Yuan. Fu Wu Yuan. That's the word for waitress, Fu Wu Yuan. Let's take a look at that right here. Fu Wu. Fu Wu means service. Yuan means person or personnel, like server. So the whole thing together, Fu Wu Yuan. Fu Wu Yuan. Right? Waitress, Fu Wu Yuan. And then he says, Ni hao. Fu Wu Yuan, Ni Hao. This Ni Hao is not hello. He's already kind of said hello already when he came into the restaurant. This is more like uh, getting attention. Um, uh, an attention getting thing. So he says, Ni Hao. Fu Wu Yuan, Ni Hao. Right? Let's listen to that one more time. Fu Wu Yuan, Ni Hao. Fu Yuan, Ni Hao. Right? And here's the key thing we're going to focus on today. Qing Wen. There's Qing Wen. You remember that one, but right? That's, uh, excuse me. Qing Wen. Qing Wen. And here's the focus of the lesson today. Let's take a look at this phrase right here. Can I take a look at the menu? Right? And this is this is the same <coughs> the same structure you use when you ask uh, to go to the bathroom, right? What do you say if you want to go to the bathroom? You all know that by now. You say Wakaishangma. So the Wakai can I? Wakai something ma, right? Wakai in this case. Can. Can means to look at, to see, right? So, Wakai can. He wants to see a menu, and here's this Tai Dan right here. Tai Dan ma. Wakai can Tai Dan ma. Now, he, between the can to see and the Tai Dan menu, he puts this word, Yi Xia. Yi Xia. 看一下, so we're going to consider this part 
uh, of the verb here. Kani xia, kani xia, yi xia. You may remember, yi <coughs> xia is used for a short period of time, right? He doesn't want to read the menu for an hour and a half and study it. He just wants to take a quick look at it. So when when a, when, yi xia, when there's a verb here and then an yi xia right after it, it means short period of time. So, in other words, take a quick look at. Take a look at. 看一下。我可以看一下菜单吗? 我可以看一下菜单吗? Right? 看一下. If you don't put that in there, it's still going to be understood. If you don't put the 一下 in there, it's still going to be understood. Just not, just doesn't uh, have that nice sound that it should have. Okay? So, can I take a look at the menu? Let's listen again. Let's slow it down. He says it really fast. Let's slow it down to about 75 so you can hear it clearly. Can you see the menu? Is it okay if I see a menu? Can I see a menu? Right? Right? So that's what we're going to focus on today, just focusing on you know on his line. If you take a look at your um your works, your handout, start with the language points. We start with language point number one, Fu Wu Yuan is a waiter or a waitress. Right? So it's either one. There's no male, female here. It's just server. Fu Wu Yuan. Fu Wu Yuan. And you can call them directly, just like saying waiter or waitress here. You say Fu Wu Yuan, and they know what they know to come and help you out. So here we have uh, language point two, and the one we're going to focus on today is Ke Yi. Ke Yi has two meanings. One is to be able to do something, right? I can do something. I'm able to. Um, like I, 我可以说中文, I can speak Chinese. What can you say Chinese? The other thing is, the other meaning is to be allowed to do something, to have permission to do something, right? Like you guys, when you want to go to the bathroom, you say, what can you say Chinese? Can you say May I go to the bathroom? Right? So first type is ability. The second type is permission, right? And so this is what we're going to focus on in this uh, this scene here. Um, is it okay if I ask you a question? Um, is it okay if I take the test tomorrow? May I, right? Uh, and uh, other examples. Can I see my grade? Can I go out for a minute? Right? So this is what we want to focus on today. And you already know this because you use it all the time. <clears throat> um, so what we want to do is do a little exercise to bring this home today. And so I'm, I've got one for you right here. And I'll put it in the um, the uh, um, the assignment section of this of our website, and we're going to have you do two things here. We've got this. It says practice with isha. Remember, isha means doing something for a short period of time. So we're going to practice with that. So what I want you to do is I want you to translate the left side of this first. These sentences, then ask the questions about them on the right. So the first example says, take a look at. In other words, don't look at it for a long time, just quickly. Take a look at it. Well, to, to look at something is can. To take a brief look would be what? Can isha. Can isha. Let me put that up there for you. Let me change that. Right, there's kan isha. So in your homework, you would probably do something like this. K 
Kan Isha. Just like that. Kan Isha. Right? Now you would want to ask the question, can you take a look at it? So what do we need to do for that? Well, we need to um, use the word kai, right? So I'll take this and I will go like this to make the question, right? Can you take a look at it? So kai to take a look at. Can you take a look at it? Right? So this is how you'll do it too. You'll you'll first look at these sentences, find out what the verb is, and then do it for a short period of time by adding isha. Then you will ask the questions that are on the right side of the page, just like I did in this example here. So I'll go ahead and post these on the Google Classroom, and you can uh, write them down on paper, uh, put in the tones and everything, and then uh, submit them for classwork. Got it? Okay, just take a, one quick look at Wang Ming one more time. Gu Yuan. Okay, can you can you show the item? All right. So that will be it for today. See what you can do with that. See you next time.